Hi, and welcome to Hull & Hull TV. I'm Dana O'Brien, and I'm joined by founding partner Ian Hull and managing partner Susanna Popovit Montag at Hull & Hull LLP, an innovative law firm that practices exclusively in estate, trust, and capacity litigation. Here at Hull & Hull TV, we're exploring the issues around estate planning that affect you. Ian and Susanna, probate is a common term used in estate planning that has several different meanings. Susanna, let's start with you. What is probate and what does it do? Well, I always take it right back to the beginning, which is, you know, a will speaks from the date of death. And so when an individual passes away, that document is valid on the face of it. The authority for the executor arises from that moment in time. When we talk about probate, what we're talking about is going to court and having that document basically validated by a court and granting a certificate of appointment that uh, or letters probate as they used to be called as the authority for the executor to hold himself or herself out as having that uh, ability to administer the estate in accordance with the will. You've touched on part of the process going to court. Uh, Ian, what else is involved? Well, the actual step of getting probate is a, in Ontario we even get a fancy gold seal attached to it. Uh, but uh, when you're going through the application itself, there is an affidavit that you're swearing to the truth and the verification of the assets. And that affidavit is important because ultimately you can be audited for that amount. Mm -hmm. And so if you've picked your valuations incorrectly or you've missed assets in, in, in the probate application process, you can be held to task on it. So it's not just about filling in some forms and going in front of a judge and saying, please, proceed to say this is valid. It's about the core elements of the probate document that make it valid, not just the shiny seal, but the valuations. And what are the benefits of probate? Well, I think the key benefit to probate is you can hold the document out to third parties, and it has that effect. Banks, of course, are the most obvious one, and most uh, Canadians get probate for the sole purpose of dealing with banks they have a pretty well strict rule that they're going to want to see a probate at some point before you can pull assets out of the deceased's account. So that in and of itself makes it worthwhile. The other element of it too is real estate. And when you're transferring real estate, you have to, in lots of cases, not always, in lots of cases, you have to have probate as well. All right. So Ian's talked about a few of the benefits. Are there circumstances in which someone would want to avoid probate, Susanna? Well, I think the main circumstance is if you want to maintain privacy over your, your will or the, the individuals who are involved do, because once you apply for probate, it becomes a public document. Mm -hmm. And so anyone could search the registry and then find a copy of your will. Another thing that uh, people spend lots of time and many dollars on is avoiding probate by uh, because there is a, a probate fee mm -hmm. that is applicable when you're applying for the certificate. So do most wills go through probate or not? Well, typically what's happened, certainly in Ontario, is we allowed, the courts have allowed us to have a primary will and a secondary will, and the primary will gets probated and the secondary will doesn't. So the number of wills that are not needed to be probated has grown exponentially, because you know, and which allows, as Susanna says, the secondary will, you don't have to pay the probate fee, but the primary will you do. So on balance, much more of these estate administration is coming through estate assets that are not being probated. And many times also, just to add to Ian's point, we'll see people apply for probate even if they don't necessarily need it because they want to start limitation periods to, to start running. And so if you've got any concerns that there may be claims against the estate, then that might be an opportunity for you to seek probate when you might not otherwise have done so. Ian and Susanna, thank you. And thanks for joining us on Hull & Hull TV. Thank you.